Hi, my name is John Alzheimer, and I'm a credit expert who contributes to CreditCardInsider.com. If you have any questions for us, then please submit them in the comments section below. Today's question is this, what is the worst thing about credit cards? That's an interesting question. It's kind of a lightning rod topic because you have many consumers who like to demonize credit cards as if they're some sort of evil form of, uh, of credit. Um, I, I, the worst thing about credit cards is going to, the answer is going to vary depending on who you ask. Um, some people are going to suggest that credit cards, because of the credit limit and the capacity that you have when you are holding a credit card, acts as an incentive for you to get into debt. And that suggests that people are um, irresponsible and weak and will somehow fall into this trap of spending a lot of money simply because they have the ability to do so. I'm not so sure I believe that. I'm sure it's true in some scenarios, but that's not something that immediately in, um, entices people to do just because they have a credit card. If that's true, then every single person would have nothing but maxed out credit cards. I think the worst thing about credit cards is how they're used by some consumers. And those consumers would be the ones who get credit cards and choose to use them for something other than what they were originally intended for. Credit cards were originally intended just to give you a plastic and portable way of shopping. Um, they were never meant to be a supplement to your income. They were never meant to act like a payday loan to kind of bridge uh, bridge one period of time to another until you get a paycheck, but unfortunately that's how some consumers use them as a way to keep up with the Joneses and to impress people. Um, the interest rate on a general use credit card, like a Visa, MasterCard, Amex, or a Discover, is around 15%, depending on who you believe, but let's just say that it's in the neighborhood of 15% because that's pretty much what everyone else says which makes the debt carried on a credit card the most expensive debt that you're generally going to service ever, unless you're taking out things like payday loans and pawn loans and title loans where the interest rates can be many hundred percent APR. Um, the problem that I see with credit cards and the worst thing about it is consumers who use them who cannot or choose to not pay them in full every single month. And this is problematic, obviously, because then you're starting to apply this very high interest rate to the cards. And by the way, retail store credit cards interest rates are into the mid to high 20s, so they're even worse. Um, so they're very, very expensive if you're going to service the debt load or carry the debt from one month to the next, which is a, a process that's formally referred to as revolving. Essentially, you're not paying the balance in full every month. If you pay the balance in full every month and the interest rate becomes irrelevant, and, and meaningless. I, don't, I have no idea what the interest rate on any of my credit cards are because I don't care because I don't carry balance. So I avoid or sidestep this issue of expensive interest. Um, if you're going to choose to use a credit card and you're going to shop around for one like you can do at creditcardinsider.com, I would suggest that you focus on aspects of the card other than the interest rate. If you focus on the interest rate when you're shopping for a card, then you have resigned yourself to the fact that you're going to carry a balance and that's not a good way to get into a relationship with a, credit card with a credit card issuer. I instead would suggest you focus on things like usability, do the places where you tend to shop take that type of card, and rewards. Are the rewards meaningful to you? Meaning that if you fly Delta, are you gonna get a card that gives you Southwest Airline miles? That may not make a lot of sense. So your rewards program may be underwhelming. So focus on the good aspects of it. Stop listening to all the noise out there from people who demonize credit cards. That's generally because of their own failings and the, their inability to properly manage them. My mind, for the best financial services tool, great portable capacity, a very, very aggressive fraud protections. So that's my two cents on the take. Um, if you have any other questions pertaining to credit or other financial topics, then please submit them to creditcardinsider.com or in the comments section below. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.